Well, Finny, what do you think? Oh, it looks like a million, Mr. Acme. You must have followed my blueprints to a T. I'm so excited. I guarantee whoever ends up on the receiving end of this baby is gonna get creamed. <laughs> For your hand only, the palm print trigger you demanded. <sighs> cool. I don't want nobody firing off Mr. Carter but me. Mr. Carter? You're giving it a name? Hey, you got a problem with that? Oh, Mr. Carter's perfect. It, it, it suits him. Yes. Yeah. What goes around comes around. It's one of the cosmic rules that catches up with everyone sooner or later. Even gargoyles. Yeah, it was just about a year ago, Mr. C. Only a few blocks from here. I'll never forget the first time they laid eyes on one. I was riding along, minding my own business, when kabam! The small one swooped down beside me. Of course, it didn't faze me none, but somehow, the creature managed to snatch my wheels right out from under me. Hey, can you believe it? Turns out he didn't know the first thing about motorcycles. And my beautiful bike went up in flames, and that good-for-nothing gargoyle just flew off. I told my story in court, but the judge thought I was intoxicated. That gargoyle not only cost me my bike, he cost me my driver's license. This is our lucky night, Mr. C. Can you believe it? I found the big one! I'll never forget the first time I laid eyes on the monster. I was working security for Cyberbiotics, stationed aboard Fortress One the night he attacked. I was the first one to spot him. Naturally, I, I put up a terrific fight. Oh, savage brute strength overwhelmed me. When the Air Fortress went down in flames, so did my career. Can you believe it? A gargoyle had stuck it to me again. But now, Mr. Carter, now it's payback time. Tonight, I finally get to even the score. If I could just get you out of this bag... <laughs>